next we've got coming in is the team of Skipper Keys. I'm sure Christine will tell us lots about these, this is a breed. Oh yes, this is the Belgian guard dog. Now he may be very small to look at, but he is a very good guard. He's very quick, he's very able, and he will guard anything and everything, but he was mainly used for the barges. And the bargemen were quite happy to go away and leave the barge unlocked, uncovered, and know everything on board was safe because there'd be two or three of these dogs running around, either on the um, side of the river beside the boat or actually on the boat themselves. And do these dogs still perform that task or is that a, a Actually, yes. I was in Belgium a couple of years ago and actually saw a barge that had three of these on and four Ks on because they also are known as the Dutch barge dog. And then they come to Crafts and work as a team in the ingredients competition. And what a good job they're doing. They look very striking against the red trousers, I have to say, I admire that. I was just thinking perhaps next year we could put a barge on the lake outside and see how they perform out there. Now there's a thought. Will you mention that or shall I? You can. So, serious stuff. A nice tidy left turn. Followed by a nice tidy about turn. Handlers are nicely lined up coming down towards their final halt. And not one of our newer breeds either. The history can be traced back to at least 1690. Gosh. And some of those of the dogs have taken part in uh, obedience, rally, breed and agility. So yet another talented team, well done. So the last team today that we have coming in for the heel work section of this competition. And next in the ring, we have our very smart Skipper Key team. The others will all sit politely while each dog works. I think the judge will probably be keeping an eye on that. The whole team is under control throughout the test. And dog number one's article is placed out. I think that's a cloth, is it? So that's going to result in a fairly hefty loss of marks. Hate to use the word, but that's what's known as a scent failure. But nobody fails today to get a skipper key to Croft to even do the test. I think it's a massive achievement. And again, as we said with one of the other breeds, I bet there aren't many of these skipper keys that can do these these exercises? No, they're not, and it's another spitz breed, so you have to conquer that independent temperament. Well, I don't think you ever conquer it, you have to learn to live with it. There's a very nice, tidy go to bed.
So dog number three being set up for stop on recall. Independent was a word Christine has used, so we must keep our fingers crossed here. and well inside the box. Dog number four, getting her instructions for the retrieve exercise. She's going to be using a dumbbell. Thank you. 